Hey everyone, welcome again to Indian Story Read Along. Today's story is going to be from the Tales of Ramakrishna book, Tales Told by Sri Ramakrishna. And this is one of the Amachitra Katha books um, that is a little bit older and it has a whole bunch of different stories and they all have some kind of lesson at the end. And this is something that Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, who lived in the 1800s, did. He told a lot of stories and he taught a lot of different students and he told the stories to kind of illustrate the lessons that he was teaching to his students. And so this one is an interesting one. It's called the Brahmana and the Cow. So there was once an old man who owned a beautiful garden. He loved it dearly and spent a lot of time tending it. But he was very selfish. He did not want to share his beautiful garden with anyone, not even the birds. And so he is shouting and shaking his fists at these parrots. Parrots in my garden, sitting on my sunflowers, how dare they? So some boys are sitting on the, the garden wall there and they're looking at him kind of amused that he's acting like this. Who is so selfish they're going to keep their garden even from birds? And he's shouting at them, get away you wretched birds! Now the boys were very young, but they seem to be a lot more reasonable than this old man. It says here, the mischievous boys of the village like to tease the old man. So they're talking sensibly. They're saying, be a sport, sir. Parent, parrots love to eat sunflower seeds. Why did you shoo them away? And another one makes an even better point. Besides, you are a brahmana, sir. You must not be rude to your guests. And that brings up a very important point that a lot of people like to say they are something, but they don't behave in accordance with that thing. So he should be actually behaving better. But the old man disagrees. Guests? <laughs> I don't want any pesky birds or brats in or near my garden. Run off. Off with you. And so the days went by. Then one day, he's coming out of his house, again going to tend to his garden, and he's thinking, let me go and see how tall my mango saplings have grown. But then what does he find? A stray cow in my garden, and she's eating my saplings. He is very, very angry. And then he does something terrible. In a fit of rage, the Brahmana began to beat the cow with his stick. You wicked beast, it's not her fault. This guy is just off the rails. The cow was already old, thin and hungry. The Brahmana's beating gave her such a bad fright that she dropped down dead. And now he realizes what he has done, but he's not feeling bad for the cow. He's actually feeling bad for himself because he's a selfish person. So he's thinking, oh God, what have I done? I've killed a cow. This is what, like, the worst thing you can do, especially in ancient Vedic times, or ancient Hindu times. So the worst thing you could do is kill a cow. And so uh, he knew that everyone was not gonna be happy with him in the village. And so there in the corner, you see a group of people gathering around the dead cow and thinking, talking about how could he have done this? The Brahmana had to face the villagers who had come to know of what he had done. One of the villagers is scolding him. You have committed the greatest of sins. You have put your garden above everything else, even the life of a cow. And another man is, is scolding him also. The cow gives us her sweet and nourishing milk, and in return, you kill her? So another one is also yelling at him. What kind of a hand is yours that it can kill a cow? We're going now, but we'll see you later. When the villagers left, 
They will throw me out of the village. I'm sure they will. What shall I do? See, again, he hasn't thought once about the cow and how badly he treated a poor animal that is just looking for food and is doing the natural thing, grazing wherever she can. He's selfish, so he's only thinking about himself and what's going to happen to him. But now he finds a way to do some kind of mental gymnastics to justify what he did. He's going to put the blame on somebody else. Ah, he's thinking, I've got it. It was my hand that killed the cow. And Lord Indra is supposed to be the presiding deity of the hand. For those of you who don't know, Lord Indra is the god of the heavens. He's the god of the rain clouds and thunder. And he's also supposed to be the king of heaven. So he's going to put this blame on Indra, thinking, yeah, it's never going to get back to him. Now he's thinking, if it's Indra who guides the hand, it is not I who kill the cow, but he. He is to blame. Yes, I'll tell the villagers that. So the next day at the village market, he is going around telling everybody this, this reason he has. And people are actually listening to it. It was not I. It was Indra. He, it was he who made my hand kill the cow. This news spread like wildfire till it reached the ears of Indra himself. Can you imagine this news was so hot it transcended space and time and went all the way up to heaven, reached Indra. And Indra is like, oh man, my reputation. He's thinking, I had better assume a disguise and go and see this Brahmana. Taking the form of an old man, Indra walked casually into the Brahmana's garden. Sir, I am a stranger to this town, he says. I was just passing this way and I couldn't help noticing your garden. It is very beautiful. The Brahmana was highly flattered. Oh, it is kind of you to say so, sir. I have tended, tended it as if it were my own child. And then Indra, as the old man, says, I can see that. How well this path has been laid. Did you lay it? Yes, sir, says the, the Brahma. Yes, sir, I laid it myself. And then Indra, as the old man, looks at one of the trees and he said, How tall these fruit trees have grown. Did you plant them yourself? And the Brahma says, Yes, sir, from seed to fruit. It was all my work. And then Indra looks at a fountain and he says, what a charming fountain. Did you set it up yourself? And then the old man says, yes, I set it up with my old, my own hands. Suddenly the old man vanished and Indra himself stood before the Brahmana. Oh, Brahmana, says Indra, if you take the credit for setting up your garden with your hands, then you should take the blame for killing the cow too. Why blame poor Indra for that? <laughs> Look at the old man's face. It's the best part of the story. What? <laughs> and that's a very good point. There's some people who want all the credit for good things, but they never want any of the blame for bad things. So what Ramakrishna is saying in this story is that if you're gonna do something, you have to take all the responsibility for it. That's part of being a grown up or being a very responsible child, that you take all the responsibility for the bad things that happen and the good things that happen. So if you wanna hear more stories like this, subscribe to our channel and we will see you again next time.